Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update this channel daily. If you like this watch, you can see it and purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today, we are discussing Piaget's sports watch. This is the Piaget Polo S Automatic. 42 millimeters in stainless steel, it's a nice slim 100 meter water resistant and loomed sportster that can be considered an all around watch or an only watch, equally appropriate on the boardwalk or in a boardroom. It's a handsome and versatile piece that clearly draws on the design language established by Gerald Genta in the 1970s, but I think it does so in good faith and it has a unique character of its own as well as a manufacture movement that puts it over the top relative to other options in the mid priced men's sports watch category. On my wrist, 16 centimeters in circumference. The watch is 42 millimeters in diameter and a nice slim 9.4 millimeters thick. The watch is reasonably constrained lug to lug, so if you have a small wrist, 47 millimeters lug to lug means you'll find this watch, though 42 millimeters, wears well on a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. It's also an excellent unisex option. If you want to throw it on a strap, the lug spacing is a modern 21 millimeters, so that would be the aftermarket strap or Piaget factory replacement strap size that you purchase. The bracelet it's nicely made, but it has been simplified in some respects compared to competitors from Audemars Piguet, Patek Philippe, or Vacheron Constantin. You can see it does have a little bit of a Nautilus pattern to it with large H form primary links and intermediate satin finished links that are smaller in profile as well as size. Under the bracelet, you'll note the same treatment applied as well as big enough gaps to vent the wrist on a hot day and prevent pinching skin or pulling hair. This is where the price point becomes more accessible relative to something from one of the big three brands pin sleeves used to fix the removable links, but you will note every single link is removable, so you will be able to size this watch quite precisely. There's even a half link added for more precise sizing to suit your wrist geometry and size. The clasp is nicely made. It's a twin deployant and twin deployant with a trigger release system, so more secure than a friction fit and more premium than a clamshell. This is exactly the kind of clasp I want to see on a watch of this stature from a brand like Piaget. All of steel, the watch has a case to match. There are some handsome uses of contrasting satin and polished finishes. The case band is narrow in satin finish, sheer in profile and vertical. The lug hoods as well as the mid case lightly polished to add a contrast relative to the flanks. The top of the bezel is all of a satin finish and you can see one distinction compared to its rivals at the big three brands is that it features a east-west or side-to-side -side satin grain rather than vertical. The lip of the bezel has been polished and rounded and it's a very flat minimalist bezel. It's not quite the dominating structural feature that you find on an overseas, a Nautilus, an Aquanaut, or a Royal Oak. The crown is minimalist and Piaget signed. Although it is not a screw down, the watch does have 100 meter water resistance. The dial with all applique indices, raised Piaget marquee at 12 o'clock, automatic notation just above a trapezoidal and frame aperture for the date at 6 o'clock. I happen to like the arrangement of all the dominant features of the dial from 12 to 6 along a central axis. It gives it a handsome organization and a bilateral symmetry that I adore. The hands fully loomed, indices likewise, and all applique. There is a very narrow horizontal striation that clearly ties it to its inspiration from other brands, but is also fine enough that it appears more of a texture than a imprint. It doesn't look like ribbing. It's something that adds an interesting shading to the dial from an arm's length and rewards close observation. Outboard, there's a sunken track with a metallic satin finish for the seconds and minutes to be read. And on the case back, this is Piaget's manufacturer caliber 1100p. Let me get super close, as close as I can with the focal length of my lens. And now you can see this is an impressive movement. Nicely decorated, albeit mostly machine finished. The caliber features a circular Cote de Genève, uh, engine turning on certain surfaces, but principally circular Cote de Genève across the rotor, which is blackened, the bridges, which are perfectly aligned, coat to coat, bridge to bridge, and blued screws, the real kind, kiln fired, not heat oxidized. You'll note a black polished fine adjustment mechanism atop the balance, which beats away at 28.8. 50 hour power reserved features both hacking seconds so you can set the watch to the second against a reference and a quick set date so you can rapidly cycle the date. A feature I happen to like is the use of Etichron for fine regulation. That likely ensures that this watch, which has a, I will demonstrate, has a high grade balance with splayed spokes, 
this watch can likely be regulated to chronometer standards by a talented watchmaker such as those at Piaget. 25 joules, it is a slim profile movement that allows this watch to be under 10 millimeters thick. So you get a 50 hour automatic, manufacturer caliber, loomed dial, 100 meters water resistant, and an iconic form born of the 70s that takes the best from a number of August inspirations and incorporates them with the traditional Piaget Polo family language. You can see and you can own this versatile sportster on our website. The Piaget Polo S Automatic, plenty of loom, grayscale by day, beautiful and blue by night. See this one and learn more on thewatchbox.com.